And they're suing the director of Fulton County's Department of Registration and Elections. Her name is Nadine Williams. She's being sued because um, only nine of 45, what's, what they're calling qualified Republican poll workers, have actually been hired to do the work. And out of 62 qualified Republican poll workers that they suggested, only six of them were hired to work on Election Day. So they're having a hard time. You know, with the ratios and the staffing, uh, if they're only hiring, you know, nine out of 45 and six out of 62, you know, that's what one of the things the Republican Party in Atlanta has a little hard time with. Yeah. And what's interesting about this is the, the lawsuits are occurring in um, large metropolitan areas in states that are swing states that could decide the election. So Atlanta, Georgia, you talked about, uh, you look at the numbers of Democrats that have been hired to work at the polls versus the number of Republicans. It's pretty eye popping. You move to Detroit. Um, each city board of elections commissioners must appoint an equal or near equal as possible number of election inspectors from each major political party. In this case, the Republican Party claims that of the 300 Wayne County's 335 election precincts failed to reach this equal number of Republicans and Democrats with inspectors in uh, 2024, with 202 of the non-compliant precincts included no Republican election inspectors at all. Hey, there's no such thing as a Republican ballot, a Democrat ballot. It's just the ballot that needs to be counted. Yeah, just you know? just just the head count. The plaintiffs, which is of course the Republican Party, allege that in Detroit they hired 310 Republican election inspectors. Now, hang on, that's a lot. 310. That's like Atlanta can't even get close to that. So, yeah, except except they also hired 2337 Democrats. So, it's almost not quite a 10 to 1 ratio of Democrats. 